No one will. Who can stand against the king? No one can. No one will. Oh. Oh. Victory belongs to Jesus. Victory belongs to him. Hello, hello, hello. And thank you for tuning on to another episode of our scripture breakdown ministry. My name is David Abraham and our scripture for today comes from Ephesians 5 verse 2. And it says, And walk in love as Christ also has loved us and given himself for us, an offering and a sacrifice to God for a sweet smelling aroma. I repeat, and walk in love as Christ also has loved us and given himself for us an offering and a sick sacrifice to God for a sweet smelling aroma. Now, I want to divide the scripture into four parts. The first part says, and walk in love. Now, what is the what is the basis of this part? The, the basis of this part is a follow-up from Ephesians 5 verse 1, which says, and be imitators of God as their as, as their children, and and the second bit says and walk in love. Now, what does walking in love mean? Because we all know, as the Bible says, that God is love. In um, second in First Corinthians thirteen, it speaks about charity. It said the greatest of all is charity. The greater of all is love. Showing love to your fellow man. Love is. Is given without expecting in return. You can, you can. God, love is not batter. You cannot um, um, batter with love. Love is something that is given without um, an expectation of, of of something else in return. So he said, and walk in love. You know, because God is love. That is the ultimate um, attitude, an attribute of God. That is the ultimate. Um, effort to be Christ to be Christ like to be God like is walking in love so it it becomes unto the Ephesians originally and to us as Gentiles and Christians to walk in love then the second bit says as Christ also loved us and given himself for us so Christ loved us and gave himself for us because of love he gave himself for us so also um, it, this is um, an example of what we should live by. He's speaking about selflessness now. He's speaking about brokenness, speaking about meekness. So he said, as Christ also loved us and given himself for us, let's also um, show love to our fellow man. We're not necessarily dying for our fellow man, but extending a love, a sacrificial kind of love to our fellow man, where we go beyond expectation, beyond what um, people or what God would expect. Because um, the Bible says, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him shall not perish, but have everlasting life. So, also, Christ gave himself because of the love he had for us. And therefore, as an imitator of God, as, 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 as somebody that tends to want to lead Christ-like, we also need to express love to our fellow man. Then the third bit says, an offering and a sacrifice to God. So, um, showing love is an offering. Showing love is, is a sowing of a seed, which... God endorses and, and a sacrifice to God. So a, a sacrificial living, showing love is sacrificial living. Um, sticking our heads out and sticking our necks out for our fellow man is sacrificial living and it's been endorsed and justified by God every day. Then it goes ahead and says, for a sweet smelling aroma. So a sacrifice for a sweet smelling aroma. So when we begin to show love, when we begin to live after the similitude of Christ when we begin to behave Christ-like and ultimately love is the most important thing. Love is a key thing that the word speaks about and when we begin to show that love from the innermost parts of our heart and we begin to lead it every day, 
it becomes sacrificial so instead of the burnt offerings of the old testament of giving of burning pigeons of um, burning um 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 sacrifices or rams or giving sacrifices rams cows goats and things like that and the, the when the aroma goes up to heaven here it speaks about showing love that when we show love to our fellow man it becomes like a sacrifice to god for a sweet smelling aroma so it replaces all that bond offering of the old testament when we show love it replaces all that offering of the old testament it replaces all that um headache of going into the the holies of holies to to sacrifice blood for the sweet smell for 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 the forgiveness of sin but here he says he says that love we show and that genuine love from the innermost part of our heart that we show is like a sacrifice and a sweet smelling aroma before god now i want to pray that god is able to expand our minds and our hearts on this word that we may ultimately begin to have a grasp on this word that we may ultimately begin to um have God in us that we may continue to know God and his deepest secrets. I want to pray that God is able to help us lead a, a life full of love and sacrificial living that we may be, our attitude may, may be like a sweet smelling aroma before his sight. All this I ask through Jesus Christ our Lord. I thank you so much.